Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the middleweight bout between Dustin Stolzfoot versus Obsupian Magomedov. And how I see this one right here is I'm going to go average confident um, Obsupian Magomedov. The man hasn't fought in like two, three years or something like that. Did get caught by an older fighter like what, 40 years old. But then Dustin Stolzfoot ain't got no power striking really there like that. And the Super Mega Metal has the, the you know the ability to stuff you know control where the fight goes, stuff the takedowns, and keep it on the feet. And I feel like he has a clear striking edge. And I feel like he might even try to mix the takedowns in there just because. But I'm gonna say um in the distance, probably like second round TKO of Super and Mega Mega Metal. I don't like that. Like I say this could be a high confidence pick, but inactivity always is a question mark. I really like a guy that's active and winning and fighting, you know, quick turnarounds and you know looking good and making improvements and you know got a sharp mind and kind of a balanced ego in there. That's the person that, you know, you really like. They on steam, but average confidence because the, of the inactivity. I like the stylistically-wise, high confidence, but inactivity involved drops it down to average confidence. Stylistically-wise, I love him in this matchup to be able to keep the fight where he, you know, dictate where the fight goes in there. You got a, a wrestler versus a grappler. I mean, a wrestler versus a BJJ guy. Historically, trend-wise, in most cases, when they're evenly matched or one superior, well, the wrestlers, when they're evenly matched or the wrestler superior, the wrestler controls where the fight goes. And mostly, even when the grappler is superior sometimes, the, the grappler don't got the best takedown offense or, you know, really, or, yeah, the best takedown offense, the wrestler can keep them on the feet and neutralize them. So, yeah, I feel like a Supian Nermag, I said, a Supian Nermagomedo, a Supian Magomedo can keep this fight on the feet and should be the fine Dustin Stolfus on the feet. He don't got the most defense or anything. He really ain't much on the feet. And he got underrated power. That's about it. So, but, shouldn't have no much issue with him on the feet. Probably going to be take a little bit to fill himself out, you know, get back into the fight. I mean, you know, get back acclimated to fighting, you know, in the cage or, you know, professionally fighting. It's going to be like a little bit of a slow start, but then really start to find his, you know, find his time, find his range toward the end of that round, start to really hurt um, Dustin Stolfoot's second round. He already sharp, already found his range, already got his timing down, and then really start to put that nail in the coffin and put him away in the second round. Probably hurt him with feet, then fall on the ground, ground a pound, fight over. So, in this fight, I have up in this fight, I have Upsupian Magomedov via second round TKO.